And welcome back at 644. When it comes to air power, there are many factors and people that come into play to execute the U.S. Air Force mission successfully. And that takes a lot of hours of training and close attention to detail and safety. Uh, Jonathan Cotto visited with the Air Force's Center of Excellence and walked us through air crew fundamentals where every enlisted aviator learns how to provide air support and service. This is the Career Enlisted Aviator Center of Excellence, where enlisted aviators are trained in everything from aircrew fundamentals on aerodynamics. Hey, good morning. Today we are going to go over and recap some things over basic aviation principles. To safety procedures in flight. And a critical part of the training includes this altitude chamber. And our primary goal with the chamber is to teach them about hypoxia, which is the lack of oxygen to the brain caused by low pressure. This chamber is one of the only devices that can hold up to 18 people and one of 10 nationwide. Our enlisted aviators are a vital member of the crew. So this is dedicated entirely to the enlisted training pipeline mission at the 344 TRS. And that enlisted training pipeline mission involves aircraft load masters like Airman First Class Jacob Monday. People on the ground can't get their supplies without Air Mobility Command. So we're a part of that. We're a big function in that. Um, so we get the troops, whatever they need, whether that's you know food, whether that's weapons, anything like that. The common theme across the training at this schoolhouse, safety. So in, in this type of environment, we're trying to provide that meaningful but beneficial approach of what the importance of loading this cargo means, not only loading it in a timely manner, but also in a uh, efficient and uh, within regards to safety. And not only is the Air Force's Center of Excellence responsible for training students to efficiently transport cargo, but also provide in-flight comfort to passengers, distinguished visitors traveling all over the world. So we are training future flight attendants who will be going off to fly with our nation's top leaders, flying anywhere and everywhere. Air Force flight attendants undergo three different blocks of training, aircraft orientation, food prep, and presentation. Brace, brace, brace. Stay seated, stay seated. And then our last stay block seated, is emergency seated. procedures where they learn to egress an aircraft. It's a 25 day course, so it goes by fast. We throw a lot of information out at them, uh, but they handle it well. Attention to detail is paramount at the Career Enlisted Aviator Center of Excellence. Reporting front and center, Jonathan Cotto, KSAT 12 News.